Hi everyone. I wanted to give a update, a uh, better comparison on some knee wraps. Uh, since my first video I did, I got a lot of views and it seemed like everybody wants to know uh, more about knee wraps. So since then, I've been getting a lot of knee wraps and researching, trying out, experimenting with different ones, not only on myself, but on my uh, powerlifting teammates. So we have a lot of different type of styles, squat, or people who squat different styles from what I do to give a little better comparison. Though I don't have any videos of them uh, squatting with different wraps, but they have tried out a few and I've took notes from them on what wraps they like and also watch their squatting styles to see um, which wraps would work better for different people on different types of squatting styles. Um, they gave me feedback on what they felt worked the best and how they liked they, their knees wrapped. A total of 12 knee wraps here that I'll be comparing. Um, I have tried a few more knee wraps that I haven't owned. These are the ones that I own. Um, but for the video's sakes, I'm just going to be reviewing the ones that I've owned. Okay, starting out here, we have the Inzer Iron Z knee wraps. It's a two meters. Back here, a Titan uh, THPs, two and a half meters. Dark side iron wear fusion knee wraps in two meters. Slingshot uh, Lillibridge world record holder knee wraps or Lillibridge, or excuse me, Slingshot red wraps. And, and 2.5 meters, if I did not say that. The Leet uh, FTS Kreitz, and that is in three meters. Outlaw by Iron Rebel, and that is a three meter. The Iron Rebel um, Anacondas, I believe, in a three meter. The Power Belly. King Kongs in a three meter, the grays with the blue. And in the gray, or blue and gray, the Power Belly Death Rose in a three meter. The ATP Convict Pros in a three meter. The ATP Super Heavies, in color red, they have different colors for this Super Heavies, in uh, three meters and the ATP Strangulators in the 3 meters. So, um, my best squat in competition with knee wraps uh, is 685 pounds. Um, at the time I did that, I still think, I think it's still holding right now, which isn't too far away, not even a month away from when I last did it. Um, it was ranked 8th all time ever been done raw with knee wraps so that was just belt knee wraps singlet and my best in training squat uh, without knee wraps with uh, these things um, ace uh, knee sleeves uh, I guess they're neoprene not quite sure thickness of them I mean they've been flizzy these are I got when I was playing basketball in high school so give you an idea, they're about uh, 20, 21 years old. Uh, they offer pretty much no support. I wear them on my sets leading up um, to knee wraps or if I'm just doing sets without knee wraps, um, just to keep my knee warm, to try to uh, prevent injury by just keeping them warm. I hurt my, basket, or my knees playing a lot of basketball back in high school. And I mean, I blew them out. I'm not quite sure what I did. Never had them really checked out. They just hurt really, really bad for a long time from all the running and jumping I did. Um, I like to jump uh, quite a bit. Um, jump over fences, jump on platforms, my shoulder height. And just, I pushed it every single day. So I mean, I really hurt my knees. And then um, in my after I got done with high school, I decided I wanted to rehabilitate my knees, so I started uh, squatting um, pretty much, uh, just doing reps of I don't know. It wasn't very heavy. I got up to like 225 for 
five sets of ten it made my legs real sore but going super deep um, deep as the enough to pass the IPF I did that for a few years and my knees just strengthened and got stronger and I haven't really had much problem since um, I quite don't do the running and jumping I do but I do some heavy squats and I do some jumping every now and then um, for these I just kind of put it on like this and then fold these up and then fold this down just so I have extra warmth and I mean there's no support on my knee and with these I've done um, 605 pounds I believe for a single well up to my training for my meet I wanted to do some knee rat or see um, squats without wraps just to see how far I could take it I might um, I think I did that about I don't know it was either eight or ten weeks out from my squat so I've gotten stronger I'm guessing um, the knee wraps may give me at most 80 pounds um, probably closer to 70 but just an estimate and I did those with uh, elite FTS Kreitz so that is my uh, best squat in with wraps and then without wraps just for a comparison sake for comparison on all my wraps for the performance what I did um, I guess it was two training sessions I did half the rep or excuse me half the wraps one session and half the wraps the other session um, what I did was I warmed up and then started to wrap up I wrapped up at 565 pounds so all of these wraps I took 565 pounds generally I started with the ones that I thought were weaker and then kind of moved to the stronger ones that way because as uh, I did like total of six sets each session so I was getting a little weaker more tired I should say as I progressed so that way the stronger wraps that I felt would give me a little boost to continue working the workout so it would I think it would have been worse if I would have start out with like a heavy wrap and then gone to a lighter wrap when I'm already tired so this gave me I thought a better comparison of it now there's uh, I guess three aspects of what I'll be comparing on that one is the stability uh, stability is when I'm able to go down to make sure I hit my groove and everything and then there is the rebound or carryover which will you'll feel like you'll come back up easier and then of course there's a comfort aspect as well so I'm gonna be rating those wraps on how I felt on those three with the comfort um, support and rebound a little um, theory on wraps on uh, which type you'd want to use for whatever like squatting style you have um, the ones that cast more give more support on the way down those are more for a slow descending squatter um, that way you're able to it'll hold you up and then bring you to the right groove when you go down um, this is the type of squatting style I have it seems to me the hardest motion is down rather than up on it so I mean if I go down in my groove right I'm definitely coming back up um, if I don't if I collapse before I hit depth I'm I just like collapse and obviously can't get up I lose my air or whatever so I'm not coming up now the wraps that don't quite cast as much um, the ones that are a bit more stretchy have more rebound those are more for fast descending squatters um, you're able to use more kinetic energy hit hit down and then spring right back up so you don't need the amount of support um, people who fast descend or squatters are usually good about hitting their groove most of the time or if they don't they're able to correct because they're not down there that long so they're just able to get up real use the wraps to spring back up uh, me being slow descending I need more support on the way down so I get in the right groove and then up for me is usually no problem as long as I keep my breath and hit the right groove and 
keep my hair and everything like that, so, and keep my back straight. So I have to find the groove more than anything else, and those wraps help me while a fast descending squatter um, just needs more spring. I really haven't um, heard or seen much effect of people who squat wider versus narrower, the different types of wraps they use. Usually the wider ones prefer more of a casting one, but they tend to be more slowing descending, although I've seen some faster descending squatters that squat wide, they still prefer like more springy wraps instead of casting wraps. So that's the theory on types of wraps that people generally prefer. I'm sure there's different people that prefer different things in those, but for the most part what I've seen and heard um, seems to be true. Okay, the first uh, wrap I'm going to talk about is the Inzer Iron Z. Um, I'm going to do the stretch test here, give you an idea of it. Um, first off, we'll talk about the material. It's uh, very soft, real easy on the knees. Um, these things stretch like crazy. Um, it doesn't, it bends pretty well here. Um, you can bend it, it's not stiff at all. Okay, for a comparison here, I mean, a lot of places say how much that this stretch is compared to that or whatever, but they don't give you a real comparison of how far they really stretch. So I'm going to st start standard here. Um, coming out six inches, I'm going to stop this end and pull it about as far as I can. Oop. Dropping the camera. I have to do some camera tricks since uh, I'm one-handed operation here so I have it set on six inches and I'm going to stretch it out as far as I can uh, get it uh, it's going to be harder with the stiffer ones this is coming to about almost 12 inches I can get it stretch so the stretch is uh, double of what it is so I guess if you use it all up um, the two meter wrap stretched out could go to about four meters, but I mean you're not going to get that from the tie off and all that. So uh, we'll just say two meters, or excuse me, this thing stretches about double its length. With the Iron Z, um, I really had to crank it down, of course, um, since it's a stretchy wrap to try to get the most out of it. Um, it's two meters, of course. I was able to get a lot of turns on it, but I felt that it just did not give much support. I could kind of bend my leg easy um, compared to some of the other wraps from what it is. Carry over, I felt like there was hardly anything, so I mean the stability wasn't very good um, on the way down, or being that I had to really crank it down to get much out of it or anything out of it really um, it's going to be choking off the blood in my legs um, it's more like tying something tight on your legs so I mean it's not it's the material soft it's not gonna tear up the back of your knee very much or even the sides or front of it um, this back of the skin seems to be the most sensitive for me on it but um, it's not going to damage the skin, but more um, really choke off the blood flow in your leg. Um, so leaving these wraps on for a long time for as tight as you have to get it can kind of be a pain. Um, figuring these were my first wraps I got. I started off wrapping them loose. I don't think I got much pounds out of it. I just kind of got wraps to get wraps to think I get 20, 30 pounds out of it, which I don't know that I got that much, maybe 20 pounds. Um, so these were my first straps. So I'll show you a set here with the 565. Uh, coming down, I mean, being used to other wraps, these just were to me subpar. Even if they were in a longer version, like three, I think um, Inzer only carries them up to 2.5. So you really don't have much with these um, so 
here's the 565. Going back on that 565, I mean, it kind of felt about as almost as easy as doing a knee sleeve. So I give this a wrap, kind of a low rating, a low performer. Here I have the Titan uh, THP. This is a still a fairly soft wrap, um, not quite as soft as the Inzer, and it's a little stiffer, um, but you still can move it quite a bit. And, has a bit of stretch to it here. Um, I'll measure out the stretch here. Uh, if I can set up the camera. All right. So I'll set it up. Come out six inches here. Pull down at the end. Alright, this I think I can stretch to about ten and a half. Yep, I'll let about really get a stretch and move back again. Six and hold it. Uh, about ten and a half. So six inches can stretch to ten and a half inches. That's um, four and a half inches of stretch. And these wraps here, um started wearing these and I noticed I was able to get crank once I cranked them down and really decided to start using wraps the best I can um, I believe I got 570 pounds uh, quite a while ago when I weighed like a 198 er I did a raw squat of 570 um, also did a raw squat of 580 with these at a 181. They do offer a bit more support than the Inzer Iron Z's. I was pretty happy with these for a while. So I started wearing these and did, I think, um, in a single ply. Also did uh, 650 in those. But here's the 560 or excuse me, 565 with the Titan THPs. Now I felt these, um, I got a little more out of them, but still not quite as some of the other ones, so. Uh, performance wise they don't hurt as much when you crank them down um, compared to the others but I mean if you crank them down you're still restricting some of the blood flow on it it does have a bit of stretch and I don't like to wear them too long after I wrap them but they're a little better performance wise with uh, than the Inzer Z's so these did all right for a little while when I was still learning to use a knee wrap and be able to take the punishment of a knee wrap. It does offer a little more stability, a um, little more rebound. Comfort, honestly I'd recommend say they're about the same. Uh, maybe a little more, even though this material is a little harsher, so it'll be harsher on the knees, but cut off the circulation less. Uh, and here I have the dark side ironwear fusion wraps. The material is stiffer, harsher. Um, trying to compare the different like feel of the material. These really kind of feel like the abrasiveness as the slingshop red wraps. Um, stiffness wise they're probably pretty close to the same maybe a hair more stiffer than the slingshots um, 
some stretch. So measure out the stretch here on it. <clears throat> Setting that at about six inches. And these don't really stretch too much. Uh, I say looks to be about eight, maybe eight and a quarter. A bit of stretch here. Yeah, right around eight. So they're not really not stretching. Um, I think these would perform a lot better if they were a longer. Since you don't have much stretch, you don't get much coverage on them. Um, it is a stiff wrap. Um, it's a bit more abrasive. And when I actually tried them out, I did not get much out of them. Probably mostly because they're a two meter. I feel like they would be more uh, casting and give more rebound if it had more length I could get some more revolutions out of them. I talked to the owner set this up they do come in a 2.5 but he didn't have a 3 I really think these would need to be a 3 to be really effective a 2.5 would help some but I mean you got better wraps than at the threes or whatever depending upon what regulation federation you have but these may be able to form a little better but as a two meter wrap um, I I didn't get much carryover or support at all I was kind of disappointed in them being that it seemed to be like a decent wrap made out of decent material but just the uh, performance of them I wasn't too happy with it uh, well, here's uh, 565 with these wraps. Like I was saying, I did not feel much out of these wraps at all. Um, I can't really recommend them, at least not in the two meters. 2.5 maybes, um, three would be a lot better, but I still kind of I would give this a wrap a rating of a subpar or whatever for what you get. They might be able to perform better if it was a three. So that's that. <clears throat> Comfort wise, um, it's not too uncomfortable. Figuring you really can't crank them down. Um, but I mean the material is harsh on the back of the knees too so I mean it's not going to restrict your blood flow but the harshness of the material would kind of make it a little sore um, I mean repeated use yeah you'll you get more sore from it performance hardly any so that's that Next we got the slingshot red wraps um, 2.5 meters this is a similar material. I'm like looking at com comparing the two to the uh, fusions by Dark Side. Um, the harshness, I mean, it's somewhat harsh. Seemed a little more. This is a 2.5. I mean, these work a little better. Some of the wraps. Um, I'd like to try out the threes. See how they go. Um, performance seem to be a bit more stretch I mean it's got seem a little more stretch than the iron where we'll find out here I guess in a second but stiffness about the same so let me see here pull down on six inches yeah, yeah. it looks like it's like a hair over just a hair over uh, the 10 yeah right around 10 too um huh Material wise, so I'm bet that these the ironware probably performs about the same as these slingshots in a 2.5. Um, being that material kind of seems the same stiffness and abrasiveness, just a different color. So, I mean, they're all made in Pakistan, so who knows who uh, what company actually makes these and the others could be the same company just different colors but 
I know they come into the U.S. Some places come into the U.S. and they'll sew them up, cut the lengths, and sew them up here. Um, but performance-wise, I mean, like these are a bit more abrasive, so they'll be a little more harsh on the back of your knee. Um, they do give a bit more support. They are 2.5 meters, so they seem to be able to cast just a little bit and give a bit of rebound on it. Um, so here's the 565. I'd get a little bit more out of them. I say this is wrap is decent at the 2.5. I give it kind of a mid grade wrap from what I'm used to. Maybe it's just because it's a 2.5, and I'd like to see the three and compare that they just now released. So maybe I'll be getting that one soon, and I can throw it in the video here. But I mean, these are a a decent wrap when they came out it was one of the better wraps that everybody started to go to but with the federate some federation offering three and three and a half inch lengths um, I prefer to stick to the federations that are three I guess SPF is 3.5 I'd like to try one of those but I mean right now I got a three and I seem to get a bit out of the threes so not sure how much another half meter make it easier to tie off and everything but these wraps aren't too bad of a wrap um, somewhat happy I never got to use them in competition I've had them for a while but I got these um, like a few weeks before my meet didn't have time to use them so I ended up using my Titan THPs and then after that I mean I got the crates and I decided to go with the crates on it so I never really use these for competition. These are the ATP uh, Super Heavies in red. Very soft material. Um, even seem softer than the Titan, or excuse me, Inzer Iron Z's. A um, lot of stretch. These are a three meter wrap. I mean, it's, I'll measure out the stretch see where we're at set it at about six so yeah and I'm about 13 or so try to move the camera over do it again so about 13 there um, so a little more stretch than the um, iron Z's not very stiff at all at first I thought the performance of these were going to be bland, um, but putting them on, I was able to really crank them down and get these to cast pretty well and get a decent amount of rebound. I mean, they're choking off my leg with the blood flow, but abrasion on the back of my leg was hardly non-existent being how soft it is. I really think that these wraps here would be a great beginner wrap because you can like start start out just kind of wrapping lightly so you get a little bit of support but then when you really want to get serious you can crank these things down and they do cast pretty well um, and that since they're stretchier a shorter wrap of these may actually do some good I'd recommend these as a beginner wrap definitely over the Inzer Iron Z's um, just because of the versatility of this and what you can do. It's a th thicker wrap, but I mean It doesn't offer The stiffness Like some of the wraps do because the material you know, this is probably mostly cotton and it's just real I, It seems a lot softer uh, Performance wise eh, all right um, middle grade wrap. I'd say probably a little bit below like the slingshots or so if you want to be serious but definitely but I think they're better than the 
for what they're capable of, of the THPs and the Iron Zs. Um, here's a video of the 565. Good. Offer a little bit of support. I mean, I could really get them to when I cranked them down. I could feel it and a little bit of rebound on it. Um, stability, so so. I mean, some of the stiffer wraps are I'm able to feel more stiff and like get in my groove and stay stay like lower down the way I need to and this helped me pop out a little bit um, performance wise maybe a hair above the THPs and a bit above the Iron Z's um, which was surprising how um, much stretch and everything they have but it could be that it's a little bit longer than the THPs because the THPs are a little stiffer but this is really a, it's a decent wrap for what it's worth being that it's kind of st um, soft and stretchy so I mean like if you're starting out at wraps and are kind of scared of them I'd go with this definitely here we have the ATP Convict Pros um, 3 meter length and the material seems a little more uh, flexible than maybe the uh, sling sh red, slingshot red wraps here. Um, maybe a little more stretchy too. The material is not quite as harsh. Um, I'll talk later about it when I review the strangulators, but they are very uh, similar to the strangulators that ATP puts out. It's real hard to tell the performance difference or feel difference of it too. Um, these being a hair maybe softer and just a hair less stiff. I'm not quite sure on the stretch but I'll uh, measure out the stretch here. Once I get positioned, uh, camera tricks. Okay, so uh, coming out here We'll go six inches set. Try to get it in, estimate how it goes. So set it here at six inches and I'll pull it out. <clears throat> Looks like it might go to well, I can if I put a lot of stretch and this doesn't seem to want to like stop like some of them I might be able to get out ten and a half but this seems to have uh, more elasticity where it's able to stretch further but it requires more force to stretch while some of them will have a stretched at a certain point and then just stop so I mean these stretch and keep on going but then really might take more force to get it to stop so <clears throat> looks to be about 10 so I would say they stretch to 6 inches stretches to 10 inches um, these are a pretty good wrap. I liked them. I say uh, probably one of the top performers here. So not a bad wrap. And this is what uh, I'll 565 here. So performance wise he did pretty well, um, I'd rank him in the top tier of wraps, um, easy to crank down or somewhat and they don't cut off your circulation as much but I mean they'll cast pretty well and still have a good bit of rebound off of it, um, happy with these wraps, 
for a mid uh, top performer I'd say decent wrap um, the this is fairly not too harsh a little harsher um, I'd say repeated use may wear your back of your knee down but it's not that bad really compared to some of the others on it so I mean comforts okay um, it's able to cast fairly well I mean not as some of the others but it'll really lock it down and still give you a good amount of rebound so these are decent wraps I'd say okay, here are the ATP strangulators these um, a few years ago we were regarded as pretty much the best wrap there was by quite a few people um, I'll have to agree it's a pretty good wrap though some of the other wraps may fit the style better uh, two of my teammates love this wrap it works real well for a fast ascending squatter um, able to get rebound you're able to get a good lot amount of support just like the convicts give you a, a good amount of support too um, I'm not sure it's real hard to tell the difference of it but um, most of my teammates between this one and the convict pros preferred uh, this one they felt like they got a little bit more out of it I had a real hard time telling of course I squat a little slower but they really like this wrap and seem to get a good amount of carrier over it it does give a good amount of support um, so I'll check out here on the stretch of it all right so set about six inches and let's see, see where she goes So it looks like about nine. So they stretch less than the Convict Pros, it seems. So these aren't quite as stretchy. I'm only able to pull it to about nine, maybe at most. If, yeah, not even barely, almost nine, not quite. But so they offer less stretch than, say, the Convict Pros do but these are a real good wrap. I had a hard time really telling the difference between these and the Convict Pros, but now doing the stretch test, I can see that these stretch less. Um, they do give a good amount of rebound, um, a lot of support too. So here's a 565 for the Strangulators. The strangulators did pretty well. Um, again, good wrap. I'd say medium to high performer on it. Um, comfort wise, a little harsher. Um, it'll be when you crank them down, they don't cut off the circulation as much. But I mean, the back of your knees will probably get raw after a few few wears of these or a few sets. Um, so, I mean, they get good support, good amount of rebound, too. Uh, decent wrap. I think these are a good wrap to choose, too. Also, ATP offers a bunch of different sizes from 2 meters to 2 point, or excuse me, 3.5. So, I think it's one of the few companies that offer lengths up to that far or whatever. But... I think it's a decent wrap again. So here we have the Iron Rebel Outlaw. Um, it's a stiffer wrap, not super stiff as some. Um, material doesn't seem to be as abrasive. It seems to be almost a little more slick than others, which may have a problem. Um, when you wrap that the rips the 
wrap slips but um, I really haven't had too much of a problem with it um, it's still kind of abrasive but might be a little easier on the back of your knees than some um, a fairly stiff wrap well not super stiff though I mean medium stiffness maybe of course more definitely more stiff than like the THPs and um, some of the um, other weak wraps but this wrap seems to be fairly good performance wise on it um, for stretch here Shut up my camera. Let's see. Uh, set up at about six inches here so give it a tug yeah it doesn't have too much of a stretch and it's taken quite a bit but I say you're about maybe eight eight and a half yeah right around eight and a half that I'm able to stretch to um so I mean they're decent comfort on them not real bad um cranking them down you won't cut off the circulation as much it will cast more be stiffer so here's a video of the 565 with these wraps Them. I don't know they kind of felt a little weird but I felt like I got a lot out of them that was kind of like a weird set to me um, feel wise but I think it was mainly more the way I wrapped it um, performance wise these did great I definitely say these are a top performer especially for the three meters that we have um, comfort wasn't too bad really I mean still gives you some abrasion in the back of the knee it's a rougher one but not super rough um, there's some that are rougher I'd say it's a little smoother than the strangulators by just a hair and kind of pretty close to the convict pros wise so I mean stretches close to the um, strangulators for it. So, I mean, I've felt some a decent amount of rebound out of there and good stability on the way down. I'm fairly happy with this. This is a decent wrap for the Iron Rebel. Okay, these are the Iron Rebel Anacondas. And the three meter, I was happy to find these wraps when I got them, and I was surprised they are unlike any other wrap um, I've tried so far. They're quite different for how stiff they are and little stretch they have. Um, they're thinner, almost, but um, they're, I guess, not real stiff when you go this way. Um, when you wrap them up, they really cast like no other wrap that I've tried. Um, there's uh, one of my lifting or partners or so, or people on the power lifting team was wrapping another one guy was wrapping a guy up in these and um, got a paper cut. They're so stiff and kind of thin. So, I mean, they're a different wrap from a different breed from all the other wraps. Now, um, Iron Rebel, I, they released like some new, the Anaconda with a new logo or something. And they only have them in 2.5 meters, so I was glad I found these on like their clearance or closeout sections. 
for a three meter wrap. We'll do a uh, stretch test here on these. I don't suspect them to stretch too far. So I'll set in at six inches and pull. And they are like super stiff. So I think I'm able to get to about seven and a half from six inches. So these by far are the less stretchiest wraps that I've used. So here's uh, the 565 with these. And trying these out, I mean, they felt a lot different. It was super casting. Um, stability is pretty good. Um, kind of hard to go down in there just because of the way it's really cast your knees. Um, it'll be hard on the back of your knee, even though the material won't. St is somewhat s soft, but um, just the pure stiffness when they cast, they really dig into your. Um, back of your knees and your knees and make them red and sore um, So casting and stability on this is great, but I did not feel hardly any rebound at all These are probably uh, the wraps with the least amount of rebound. I've to Tried to well, I'd say they're probably equal in rebound to maybe the iron Z's or so um, some of the real weaker wraps, but Stability on these are great. Um, so performance wise, if you're looking for strictly casting, these are the way to go. Um, you won't feel much assist in the up portion that you get from some of the other ones. Down is good and controlled, but um, yeah, these are just different from all the others. Um, so only if you're looking for that type of wrap. Um, these didn't work as well for me as I was hoping. <laughs> Not at all, but I mean stability is great in these. Rebound pretty much non-existent. So here we have the Power Belly Gear Death Rose. Um, this wrap Pretty abrasive on the back, very stiff on it, um, has a little bit of stretch to it compared to some, um, find out here in a little bit. Uh, colors are nice too on it, a good blue, I think that probably helps sell it as well too, but uh, this wrap, I was pretty happy with it. To, I mean, I've used it a few few sets, and a lot of my teammates like it who are uh, faster descenders. Even myself as a slow descender, I could see this wrap working real good for me with good carryover compared to a lot of the other wraps. Um, so we'll find out here the, on the stiffness test, or the stretch test. Locking in at about six inches. So it goes to about whew, eight inches or so. That looks. Yeah. So not too much stretch on it. Um, it seems to really, I mean, it's. Definitely got more stretch than some of the, or at least the last, uh, um, the Iron, or excuse me, the Iron Rebel Anacondas, but yeah, this wrap definitely would say a top performer, so 
here's the 565 All right, sit back with it. Good. And the 565, I felt pretty good carryover, good stability on it on the way down. Um, a real overall, I'd say a real high performer. It's one of the top wraps that I that I like for sure. Um, Comfort wise, I mean the material is abrasive on it. Um, kind of like doesn't have too much stretch. It's stiffer, so it doesn't um, get the like constrict the blood flow in your knees as much. But ability to cast and still get a lot of rebound too. Um, performance wise, um, compared to a lot of the other wraps that are the top performance really hard to tell um, how much carryover you get because they're all very very close I mean you can't pretty much go wrong picking one of the top performers just need to take the time to just to get to use that specific wrap so um, this is great on it I um, really like this wrap seems to do well um, a lot of other people whether it be slow descending squatters or fast descending squatters like it as well so I mean this is definitely probably top three wrap or so okay here's the power belly King Kongs these are a little bit stiffer um, a little less stretchy and a tad more abrasive I'd say than the death rose this wrap um, it's not too much favored by my fast descending squatter teammates though on me being slower I still kinda think it's a decent wrap for me for what I like um, pretty thick definitely very very stiff one of the more stiffer wraps like sideways definitely um, and less stretchy wraps that I have so we'll give out here the stretch meter figure out how far you can do it uh, let's lock in about six inches and um, so mm, I might be able to get to about seven yeah, so maybe whew. I see. Yeah, just maybe a little less than seven and but um while these don't stretch as much like we're pretty close to those um iron rebel anacondas these take more force to stretch but they can I think feel like it gets more area while the iron rebels lock up um, these don't quite lock up as far uh, it just takes a lot of force to get them to stretch so I guess I'm surprised how little they do stretch but yeah we're at seven so an inch of stretch on them so very very less stretchy a um, lot of stability in this so and wrapping up um, I also took this in a another um, training session I just had today with some briefs on and um, had a friend wrap me up super tight and man these things cast too still have a decent amount of rebound uh, great stability for it I definitely say this is top three wraps or so that I like so here's a 565 with this wrap so 
Still felt like I had a decent amount of rebound, great stability down, very stiff wrap. Um, it'll make it real hard to bend your knee to. Figuring um, the material is pretty abrasive. It will wear the back of your knee out and like make your whole leg area wear your wrap it red. But I mean, this is a great wrap for slow descending squatters or geared squatters too, if they descend slow, anyways. Um, kind of hard to wrap. When I had a friend wrap me on it, he was able to really crank it down and get that thing tight. So, I think this is a very good wrap too. Here we have the Elite FTS Krite. And, um, 3 meter in length. This is a fairly stiff wrap. Um, the material is harsh, but not as harsh as um, a lot of the stiffer ones um, it doesn't have a whole lot of stretch a little bit of stretch you can measure it out here in, for the stretch test and then we will set it at six inches And it's looking like I'm getting about seven and a half. Seven and a half for that. Um, so I've used this knee wraps on my uh, last two competitions where I've done a, uh, well, no, three competitions, I think, for a. 620, a 640, and a 685. And this has been the wrap that I've hit my max in. Of course, I just got those other wraps not uh, too long ago. So here is the 565 with the Elite FTS Kreitz. <laughs> And that seemed like my best out of 565. Um, I don't know if it's just because I've done more sets in them. I'm starting to do more sets in the other, but when I put these back on, um, it gives me great stability on the way down. Almost like more than the others, even some of the stiffer wraps for some reason. Um, I can crank them down real, real hard and they give me even more pop out of the hole give me a decent amount of rebound, um, good casting, good stability on it. Comfort, um, not as harsh as a lot of the other wraps, but um, I know some of my faster descending squatters don't you know, prefer like other wraps like the Power Belly, uh, Death Rose over this. But for me, um, it just seems that this is still king to me. Um, best wrap that I've used. Just, I mean, performance wise, pop out of the hole. A lot of the wraps are very, very similar for some reason or another. Just the stability going down. This seems to work the best for me. Um, I've tried, like, I bought all those other wraps, but for some reason I keep on coming back to this wrap for my squatting style. Um, nothing for me seems to have matched it yet. Some have come very, very close. But um, so far, unless I get more training or something or do something different in the other wraps, that this one has been the best for me. And I'll probably use this for competition, whatever, as long as it keeps on performing the way it does. That's the most comfortable wrap for me meaning comfortable that I'm able to descend slower or excuse me descend in the right groove and everything 
words and then just gives me great power out of the hole too even though most like all the top performer apps give me about the same amount of rebound but for some reason or another this one I'm able to do my sets better in I'm able to hit and sit back get my knees out where I need to be in this wrap while others I kinda like screw up like a little bit here and there so this one is the one for me that everything seems to be perfect in so that's my uh, favorite wrap so far due to my squatting style now these are the pretty much I'd say the champions of all the wraps here um, really you really can't go wrong with like any of these um, you may prefer different ones um, depending upon your squatting style but um, like most of my teammates really prefer either the power bellies or the strangulators um, most of them of course squat a little faster me I prefer the crates or crots, crite, crites <laughs> And, uh, I mean, these are still definitely good wraps. It's real hard to tell the difference between this and that. Um, found out that this stretches a little less. Um, Material-wise, these are pretty much the same. And the Outlaws, I mean, they're a good wrap. I've seen a lot of other people in um, powerlifting meets use them, too. And a lot of people now are starting to turn to the Power Belly uh, uh, Death Rows. I haven't seen too many people do the... Uh, King Kongs, but really I think they're a good wrap for me. I'm going to play around with them a little more, um, see how they work. And of course, um, unless something changes, I'm going to probably squat my meats, all my meats with the Elite FTS Krites. So I'd say those are, any of these wraps are great wraps.